Good day. Uh, in this session, we uh, study the uh, topic of the external environment, the external business environment. During the course of this uh, session, we will understand the importance of studying the external environment in strategy formulation. We will understand the range of factors that influence the environment through the PESTEL model and uh, we will understand the Porter's Five Forces model which helps us to evaluate the attractiveness of a particular industry. Let's first uh, try and see why we are studying the external environment. Let's ask the question, what is strategy? Strategy is a plan of action. Strategy involves a lot of other things like planning, like collecting data, but strategy is ultimately a plan of action. It must end in a plan of action. How is this plan of action formulated? It's formulated on the basis of two studies. The study of the external environment on the one hand and the study of the internal environment on the other. Using data gathered in these two studies and using models available to understand the scientific and uh, historical implications of this data, the management and employees of a company together frame strategy, which is the plan of action. I would like to point out that um, for quite a while it used to be assumed that uh, strategy formulation is the prerogative of management and strategy implementation is the task of employees as it were. Through long periods of uh, practice it has now become clear that uh, this is a wrong understanding of the concept of strategy. This understanding is wrong in principle and it is more particularly inappropriate in an environment such as the one we are living in today which is a rapidly changing environment. In such an environment strategy formulation must be a joint activity of both management and employees put together. So, this puts ex the study of the external environment into a particular context. How do we study the uh, external environment? We are talking about the external business environment, right? There are two broad areas that need to be looked at. On the one hand, you have the industry environment. The industry environment consists of um, your customers, your suppliers, your uh, source of uh, staff, your financial, your source of uh, finance, these are the immediate, this is the immediate environment the firm is engaged in. So this immediate environment which surrounds the firm is the industry environment. On the other hand, there is a larger environment which impinges on the industry environment. 
This larger environment is the environment of ideas. The environment of ideas, ladies and gentlemen, the environment of political ideas, legal, technological, economic, the environment of ideas is around us and surrounds every industry. So, we must look at the external environment as composed of two layers. The first layer is the industry. Surrounding that is the macro environment which is the layer of ideas. Right? Okay. Now, the um, industry environment is studied through the Porter's Five Forces model. Right? The macro environment, the environment of ideas is studied through the Pestel model. Let's first look at uh, the Pestel model and look at ideas which will impinge on the industry environment. We then proceed to looking at the industry environment.